Hello friends. In today's video, we will learn how to find the third proportional of any two quantities or numbers. But before that friends, let's do a quick recap of what is proportion. So friends, any four non-zero quantities, say A, B, C and D, they are said to be in proportion if the ratio of the first two terms, that is A and B, is the same as the ratio of the third and the fourth terms, that is C and D. So friends, it's very simple. If the ratio of the first two terms is equal to the ratio of the next two terms, then all the four terms or quantities are said to be in proportion. And friends, one more point to notice, these two terms that you see here, A and D, they are at the end, friends. So they are known as the extremes. Whereas the B and C terms that you see, they are in the middle. They are known as means. So the rule that we have in proportion is the product of extremes, the product of extremes is equal to the product of means. So this is also a very important rule, friends. So when we see what is the product of extremes, it will be A multiplied by D which is equal to product of means, which is nothing but B multiplied by C. So with an arrow also, you can show it very nicely. Now many times, instead of four quantities being in proportion, only three quantities may be in proportion. So only A, B and C are in proportion. Then how will this proportionality statement change? So at that time, the ratio of the first two terms will be as it is. You will have ratio of A and B, but that will be equal to the ratio of the second and third term, that is B and C things. So here you will have B and here you will have C. So just make note of this friends. And did you observe that B is getting repeated in both the ratios? So here also you have A is to B and the same B is continuing in this ratio also. That's why these three quantities are also said to be in continued proportion because B is continuing in both the ratios. So friends, this term C over here is the third proportional. So C will be the third proportional to the terms A and B. So all the friends, this term C is actually in the fourth position, right? It is still called as the third proportional friends. Now friends, let's see a question on third proportional. Find the third proportional to 9 and 60. So you are given only two terms and you have to find the third proportional. So let the third proportional be any variable you want friends, you can take. I am taking it as C. So let the third proportional be C. So that means 9, 60 and C are in proportion. So let's write that also. 960 and C are in proportion. Now friends, because you have three quantities which are in proportion, you can use this proportionality statement over here. So what will be the first term? A, it will be 9. The second term will be B, which is 60 and C will be as it is. So let's put in the values here friends. We will get 9 is to 60 is as 60 is to C. Now let's use the rule that product of extremes is equal to product of means. What does that mean? 9 multiplied by C is the same as 60 into 60. So 9C is equal to 60 into 60. Let me continue over here. I will rewrite this again. Now let's bring the 9 to the denominator. And let's see what all we can cut. Yes, it will go in 3 stable. And yes, again, it will go in the 3 stable. So we will get C as 20 times 20, which is 400. That means the third proportional to 9 and 60 is 400. One thing to note, friends, is that you should not change the order in which they have given the numbers. So if they have given, find the third proportional to 9 and 60, take the first term as 9 and the second term as 60. If you change the order, the answer will be different. So do make note of that, friends. Let's find the third proportional to x minus 1 and x squared minus 4x plus 3. So here you don't have numbers. You have got algebra expressions, but the method is the same. Let's see how to do it. So once again, let the third proportional 
B, C. So that means x minus 1, x squared minus 4x plus 3 and C are in proportion. So I can use this particular statement and say that x minus 1 is to x squared minus 4x plus 3 is the same as, again I need to repeat this term. So x squared minus 4x plus 3 is to C. Again, let's use the rule that the product of extremes over here is equal to product of means over here. That means x minus 1 into C is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3 which is getting doubled friends so I can write it as square. Now friends if you factorize this polynomial you will get it as x minus 1 into x minus 3 whole square right. Now here you have an x minus 1 and here also you have an x minus 1. So let's bring this term to the denominator. We'll get c as x minus 1. Can I bring this square inside? So I'll get x minus 1 the whole square into x minus 3 the whole square divided by x minus 1. So clearly you can cancel one x minus 1 term and you will be ending up with x minus 1 into x minus 3 the whole square. So friends this will be the third proportional to x minus 1 and x square minus 4x plus 3. So friends I hope that this video helped you understand the concept of third proportional. If you found the video useful, do like and share the video, do subscribe to enjoy math and please do leave your comments in the comment section below. So till we meet again in the next video, take care.